Okay, we're going to look at percent change and the compound annual growth rate, or CAGR. Uh, here's a simple question. Uh, what is the percent change from year one to year two? In year one, the value is 200. In year two, uh, it's 250. So uh, we know that the change in dollar terms is quite straightforward. It's $50 increase. But what's the percent change? Uh, well, that's also uh, fairly straightforward. The percent change is always your ending value divided by your beginning value minus 1. So in this case, it's 250 divided by 200 minus 1, uh, or uh, 1.25 minus 1, which gets us 25% change uh, from 2002 over 2001. Now, uh, what happens if we're looking at the percent change over many periods? So here's an example from uh, 2001 to 2005, and we'll call these uh, maybe revenue numbers in, um, in thousands. So we had $200,000 in uh, 2001, and it grew to $300,000 in 2005. But we can see that it wasn't uh, even growth. In fact, uh, the first year of growth from 01 to 02 uh, it actually declined from 200 down to 175, but then it came back in 2003. Uh, was fairly flat in 2004 and had another step up in growth in 2005. Uh, and when we think about the annual percent growth or the year-over-year -year growth, we can do that the same way that we looked at percent change from one year to the next. We can see that the uh, 25 um, decline in 2002 was a 12. Uh, and a half percent decline from 2001 to 2002. But the following year was strong growth, 42% growth, kind of flattish, a 2% growth in 2004, uh, and then another step up of 17% in 2005. Now, if we want to understand what the average compounded growth rate was from 2001 to 2005, we can't just take an average of these annual percent growths. Uh, we have to think about it a different way. When we look graphically, uh, this is what's happened to the revenues. They've got went, you can see the dip in uh, year two, uh, and then the uh, kind of flattish from year three to year four. Um, and what we're trying to do with a compound annual growth rate is say, if uh, this company had uh, produced steady growth from period one through period five, uh, what would that growth rate have been? So we look at uh, a formula for CAGR, which is the ending value divided by the beginning value, all raised to the exponent of 1 over the number of periods minus 1. So let's break this down and look at how we do uh, each of these variables. The first thing we're going to do is put in the ending value in our numerator, that's 300, and then we'll take the beginning value in our denominator, that's 200. And for the number of periods, we're looking at 2005 minus 2001, which will give us four periods. So it's 300 divided by 200 raised to the exponent of one quarter, all minus one. And so we can simplify that to one and a half raised to the exponent of one quarter or 0.25, all minus one. And if we do the calculation on that, that will give us 1.107 minus one or uh, 0.107, which is 